Hi, and welcome back to Engine Shop Joe. Got a call this week uh, from a, a fella, and he has insight, and he was trying to fix a problem where there was no cruise control and no fast idle or PTO. On a Cummins engine, PTO is when the engine is being ramped up to a fast idle, and that can be as long as the switches are on. And they use the cruise control switches to do that. So you've got an on-off switch and then a set and resume switch. It has nothing to do with the PTO pump or the PTO gearbox or driving anything with a PTO off of the transmission. It's just referring to a faster than idle speed when we're talking about the Cummins engine. So his problem was he had fixed some wires that he found broken but he couldn't get the cruise to work and he couldn't get the PTO to work. He had insight, so he had the data logger open, which he should have done. And he was toggling between on and off and that was responding and he was toggling the set switch to set and then to resume and he was reading set and resume. And then that switch goes to off when you leave it go to the neutral position. So everything was working correctly, but the ECM would not respond. So I asked him if he had any active faults, and he said there was a fault for the cruise control. So I asked him to send me the information, and here's what we saw. So initially, when I asked him if there was faults, he had said no, because he hadn't checked his fault screen, and there was no dash lamp on. And there was no dash lamp on because if we look at fault code 784 when it's active, it does not light a lamp. So there was no reason to check faults. However, we did have an active fault for adaptive cruise. Now, I knew that this was an ISX 871 and they didn't use adaptive cruise on those tractors. It would have had to been a special install. So I asked him if there was adaptive of cruise sensors in the front and he said no not on this truck so that was the reason that the cruise wouldn't work and remember that the cruise control switches are the same switches for the PTO so that was the reason that the PTO wouldn't work now let's take a look at how we corrected the issue so here we are in Insight in the Features and Parameters, and these are the adjustable uh, ECM values that tailor the engine to the truck. And you can turn cruise control on and off. They call If it's on, it's an enabled. If it's off, it's disabled. And as engines and software progress, they write new features in. And you can see they wrote adaptive cruise into this. Look to the left of the red arrow in the center of the screen. You see adaptive cruise and that's an option that you have once you enable cruise control. So someone had enabled adaptive cruise and you can't do that if the hardware for that isn't installed. I think they went in and just enabled everything because if you look you see cruise is enabled, adaptive cruise, Cruise Auto Resume, Cruise Control Safe Set Speed. These are all options. And usually I don't see Auto Resume enabled because a lot of drivers don't like that. And what that feature is, is if they're running down a road and let's say a, a, ve a vehicle passes them and pulls right in front of them, they may bump the brake to slow down and then the vehicle takes off and goes, takes start to pull away from them, if they don't touch anything and they're only on the brake for a second, cruise will re-engage by itself and pull itself back up to the speed he was at. A lot of drivers don't like that. So because all this is enabled, I kind of think that's what happened. But adaptive cruise was the reason that everything got shut down. So I just had them disable adaptive cruise and everything worked after that. Now, while we we're in here, this has engine brakes and cruise turned on. I'll get into depth in this in another video, but you see your droops are set at two miles an hour and then engine braking starts at 1.9.
you really shouldn't do that. You shouldn't start engine braking until after your droop settings. So if your droop settings two miles an hour, you could start engine braking at 2.1. If that was set any lower, the uh, software would not have let them put the values in and save them. Thanks for joining me at Engine Shop Joe, and don't forget to subscribe.